Hi all, I've been playing Guardian Druid over the last couple of weeks and testing it in the new Mythic Plus Dungeons on the War Within beta. Got a pretty solid idea of how it feels to play overall right now, even after the buffs to Druid of the Claw last week. Wanted to give you guys my honest thoughts of the spec and hero talent so you guys can see if it's for you or not going into this expansion since it's just a few weeks away. If you guys have any questions or want to share your thoughts, leave them down in the comments below. Let's start with hero talents. We get Elune's Chosen and Druid of the Claw with both being pretty solid options now that Druid of the Claw got some major buffs this last week. Elune's Chosen feels pretty damn overpowered though and I think it's still the stronger of the two trees. It does require you to talent into Lunar Beam in the spec tree which summons a light from the sky, increasing our mastery, doing a ton of damage, and healing us over time. Boundless Moonlight gives us leech equal to 10% of all damage we do to enemies within that beam. This leads to a very impactful heal and damage burst window every minute or less if we take Lunation, which is fantastic by the way. Our arcane abilities reduce the cooldown of Lunar Beam by 3 seconds. You pair this with the Light of a Loon as well, we get a chance to summon down Fury of a Loon, which does some astral damage over a few seconds and generates some extra rage. We can even grab Lunar Calling, which makes it so Thrash does arcane damage now and its damage is increased. These nodes make it so we're getting Lunar Beam back incredibly fast, having it multiple times in boss fights and basically every single pack. We've got quite a few other nodes that play, play into doing more arcane damage, generating more rage, and a node called Glistening Fur that reduces all magic damage we take by 3% and arcane damage specifically by 6%. I like our one utility node choice of Balloon's Graces or Moon Dust to either slow enemies affected by Moonfire if we need to kite a little bit, or getting a shorter CD on Wild Charge. A Loon's Chosen feels incredible. You have fantastic self-sustain self and great damage. Druid of the Claw is definitely not as good in terms of overall performance from what I've tested, but after the buffs, I think it's something you can play and have fun with unless you're doing some really high level content, at least at the moment. Our main ability in this tree is Ravage. Auto attacks have a chance to turn our next maul into Ravage, which is a hard hitting arc slash that hits our enemies in front of us. You pair this with Dreadful Wound and it does bleed damage over time and reduces the damage we take by those targets by 10%. And it does feel pretty impactful to press. We've got a few other impactful notes like Claw Rampage. This makes us so our Mangle, Swipe, and Thrash have a chance to make our maul become Ravage, which is great. Killing Strikes makes Ravage feel even more impactful with 8% more agility and extra armor from Iron Fur by 20% for 8 seconds. Makes it so in our Berserk and Incarn windows you'll feel basically unkillable and you do a ton of damage. We've got a few nodes that buff, our, buff the damage of most of our physical abilities and some defensive ones, but I really, what I really like about the tree is the ability to switch to cat form at certain points to pump out some damage without feeling incredibly squishy with wild shape mastery and empowered shape shifting. I think you really need to know the fights and windows to do this effectively so you don't die, which I don't yet in these Mythic Plus dungeons, but it'll be fun to test out more when the season drops. Our tier set is super, super simple, but it's great for both Druid of the Claw and Elune's Chosen. Our two sets buffs and reduces damage we take by 1 to 3% for 8 seconds when we use Thrash and Moonfire. 4 set increases arcane damage we do by 5% and bleed damage by 8%. I enjoy that this works well with both of the trees and they didn't make it for just one of them. It, it's awesome. Utility is great per usual. We've got Battle Res, Stampeding Roar, Great Mobility, Mark of the Wild, Incap Roar, Roots, Soothe, and Remove Corruption, which I'm telling you is going to be a huge thing in these dungeons for this next season. Our survivability is pretty damn incredible too. We have so many tools at our disposal to survive tough pulls with Bark Skin, Lunar Beam, Ravage, Incarno Berserk, Survival Instincts, Renewal, and Frenzied Regen. Two charges of it. I have something to press usually for every pack. So many oh shit buttons and a lot of defensives to deal with the many. And I mean many one shot mechanics in these Mythic Plus dungeons. Guardian also has a lot of self healing with, you know, Frenzied Regen, Lunar Beam, and Regrowth that make you almost feel like a prop pally when they were OP or a Blood DK. We're big chilling going into the War Within. Overall thoughts of Guardian is that it's looking to be a very, very strong option for Mythic Plus and possibly even for Raid, especially since the other Druid specs aren't looking insane at the moment. From what I've played of the tanks, I would say it's definitely looking to be one of the top three, but we'll see how that shakes with tuning. Druid of the Claw is pretty damn fun. The buffs they added recently definitely helped, and it does feel like it has a lot of durability because of our hero talents and Ravage. Damage isn't quite as good as Elune's Chosen, but it's really fun to be able to cat weave in certain parts of fights and change up your rotation quite a bit. I think it will probably have a pretty high skill ceiling going forward or at least knowledge of the dungeons. 
or, you know, mechanics and raid. Aloons feels overpowered still, and I'm down with it. Lunar Beam slaps, and there are quite a few packs where I have, if I have that up and Incarn, uh, I'm beating, I'm beating deep ES and pulls, and I am not dying. Like, it is incredibly hard to kill you. It doesn't feel quite as durable, I guess, as Druid of the Claw, uh, just in terms of Iron Fur, base physical damage, but the healing and damage you have is insane. Uh, and I think you definitely feel the difference between the two. I think both are pretty fun, and I actually like Druid of the Claw more with Guardian than I did with Feral. If you're looking for a tank that's pretty easy to pick up and learn, like being able to shapeshift, has a ton of responses to difficult situations, this is definitely the tank for you. Plus, having three other specs to choose from if you like to off DPS or heal is great too. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'll have a lot more videos covering different specs and classes and more for the War Within, so hit that sub button and keep an eye out for those. Thanks for watching, and I will catch you in the next video.